follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Instagram is a fantastic site. It's basically like Facebook, but without any of the drama. Just the good stuff, pictures and stuff. I post there pretty often. It's a cool site. Check it out. It's uh, my name is Weeder Fan. But for now, we have a sharpening video, full on cut sharpening. This is the Cold Steel Mini Pendleton. I've showed you guys many times. It's set up to be a neck knife for me right now. That's kind of the niche it's filling in my system. Custom sheath paint by me. I restitched it. If you remember, probably the last time you saw it had uh, black stitching here. Had some red stitching come in, so I restitched. Let me know in the comments what you think about the red stitching. Like, no like. I already know one person's not going to like the red. <laughs> Hit the like button if you do like it. Comment and tell me about it. So this is a blade. It's a tiny little blade, VG1 steel. Sweet little knife. It's getting dull there now. It's a three finger test tells me that it needs a sharpening. It's not to the level that that I'm used to. This blade is a joy to sharpen and it's so easy because it's so short. Full flat grind, which makes it fairly easy to sharpen. Full flat grind is somewhat easy to sharpen. That's nice. Some people might be horrified by what I'll show you right now. Oh dear, look at that. My beloved Woodstock stone. Ray Bartlett is probably cringing now on the screen. Uh, what happened was, I was actually at Ray Bartlett's. I had a little small fracture here. Just a little hairline crack you could see. I was at Ray Barlett's sharpening and I showed him a little crack and he gave me some ideas on how to fix it. So I figured I'd go home and fix it. I was done sharpening through the stone back in my toolkit, like I always do. Brought it out, put it in the trunk of my car, not realizing or not thinking about the fact that it's a lot colder now. And uh, what happened was uh, with the cold in the, in the night and the moisture that was in the stone, it, uh, it, it it popped it out. Essentially it was a frost fracture. Just like what happens to rocks in real life in the woods. So we're getting started here. Started on the 1000 side. I don't think I'm going to need a lot of work. One other nice feature about this Cold Steel Mini Pendleton is this little relief cut here. That makes it a lot nicer for sharpening so you can get right back right off the edge of the blade. Very nice. Well done there by Cold Steel. This overall is just a, is a great package. I actually haven't heard much about this knife ever. I just kind of stumbled upon it and searched up, tried to find a few videos, didn't find a lot on it. But it is so good, so nifty. Uh, it's not real expensive. I, I don't, I can't remember what it was. Seventy or eighty bucks, maybe. So not too bad. Didn't hardly labor to soak long enough. I tell you, time is short here lately. Uh, just finishing up another semester of school. To let you guys in on a little bit of information about me. I'm uh, I finished my science degree. You guys remember me talking about school for a long time now. So I finished a Bachelor of Science that's in uh, Biology, Earth Sciences and Math. So that's my first degree. Right now I'm doing a second degree which is in Education. Doing an Education degree. So that entails three semesters and I'm just finishing up semester one of that so all goes well next August I will finish with a bachelor's of education tell you I am tired of being in university <laughs> it's 
been uh, been a while now. I guess probably going on six years. I'm thinking. So definitely a while. A lot of people cringe at the thought of that. The thing is, a lot of people will make the comment. I've heard it lots of times. Oh, I can't imagine putting my life on hold for for five years, six years, seven years to go to school. And I would agree with that statement if you were putting your life on hold, which a lot of people do. Sadly, not the case for myself. I live a full, happy, comfortable life. Do lots of fun things. I enjoy myself. I'm not someone that's heading the books all the time. Now that said, I also don't get the best grades. I'm not a straight A student. Simply for that reason, is that I'm not really willing to to grind in the books all the time. That's that's not me. I am a good student, decent student. I get good marks and. Uh, and I have an exciting life. I do lots of stuff. Spend lots of tons and lots of time in the woods. Some bush crafting, some videos. I manage the the weeder fan. I guess I'll call it the weeder fan project. So I got a lot of things going on. There's sort of Atlantic sharpening is sort of uh, under the weeder fan bundle. There's weeder fan leather works. I've been Doing a lot of leather work lately. Um, restoration projects for myself, for others, for YouTube. And of course, then there's the YouTube channel itself, which is sort of the main, the main thing. Trying to get up two, three videos a week has not been easy. Right now, I think it's been seven days since my last video. Which is not good enough. But sometimes it's just difficult. Not whining, not complaining. I'm choosing to do what I'm doing. It's just uh, just a little tricky to, to balance it all. The 1000 side feels good. I don't know if you can get a look. If I can get that to focus, give you an idea what a 1000 side looks like. Focus, there we go. You can see it's dull. It's got lots of texture on there. It's nice and clean though and consistent, which is what you want. You want to make sure it gets all over there. I'm just rinsing my stone off here now in my little bin of water. Now I'm still using the 6000 side even with that big notch. Hasn't really uh, hasn't really affected me. I can work around it no problem. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a bit here. There we go. Okay. 6,000, man. This is a, this is a fantastic 6,000 grip. It's crazy how it can be such a high grip and still cut so quickly. Just look at the black that's left on that stone. I do enjoy this. I tell you, it really, <laughs> really gets to me uh, being out to my desk studying or working on paperwork and things like that. Knowing that I could be in here working on stuff like this. This is sort of where my heart is, if I were to be honest. If I could make a living doing custom craftsmanship, my restorations and things like that, I think that's what I'd do. Don't get me wrong, I'm very excited to be a teacher. But you never know where life will take you. This tiny little edge doesn't need a long time on 6,000. Do, 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 do. 
love the reflection love that he's a little bit more just real light real light strokes This is one cool little blade. I sat for a knife like this for quite some time and it just kind of fits the bill perfectly for me. It's got the perfect handle traction. The only thing that is not real great about it is that it doesn't really have much class. It's kind of uh, all function got that textured rubber handle no class at all all work but it does have a nice sharp 90 degree spine which strikes a ferrule really well it's got that flat grind VG1 steel which is I've found so far to be excellent And even though that handle is not classy or super attractive, it is very grippy. Doesn't matter how cold it is or wet, snowy, rainy, icy, it just grabs on your hand. I think when it's when it's wet, if you know kind of how rubber is, it gets even a little stickier. Even a little more grippy. So it is a great little blade, great little worker. This would actually be, because it's small, it would be a great knife for a young son or daughter, I would imagine. For me, it, for me, I use it for a little fine, super fine camp task, things I don't want a big bushcraft blade for. But this would make a superb little knife. I think for little small hands or smaller people, children, let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on giving children knives. Not knives to take out necessarily with their friends, but in a supervised setting or if we're in the cabin or take them in the woods, give them their own knife to, to use. And, I grew up with one. I was always that that kid. <laughs> Tell me in the comments section what you think of that. Oh yeah, that is focus. A shaving edge. That's for sure. It's one cool little blade. Let's see if we can get you that mirror polish. There it is. There it is. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Got some good content coming for you. Just about to finish up for Christmas break, so I'll have some more time. This blade is ready for the woods. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.